Hello, welcome back to IT Security Labs. Today we are doing day four of the advent of the cyber challenge. This goes up to day 25. And as you can see here, we are talking about CICD pipelines and DevOps things. So if you are very interested in this, please learn more about CICD pipelines because this is definitely not enough. But the idea here is when you talk about CICD pipelines, we're talking about continuous integration where you keep your source code in a repository like GitHub or GitLab, and then you will automatically deploy that software to environments, say de development and production, depending on the rules that you create using tools like Drone or things like that. And it looks like the Grinch has managed to create a CI/CD pipeline where they have things automatically built in our environment and we're supposed to track it down and see what's happened. So we have an IP address that we need to visit where the Grinch has set up in a website. And let's go and check out the website. Put that IP address. You will see this. You will see this website here that has been set by the Grinch. It looks like they are waiting for loot. And viewing page source here is not going to show us anything. So at this stage, we also run derb to discover a slash admin page. Let me show the split screen here. I'm going to run derb from their attack box to make life easier. So we say derb on HTTP 10.10. Okay, here's derb. Derb is running here. It's just faster to do it this way. Then let's go and answer some questions here. How many pages did Derp uh, scan find with default word list? We'll find out once it's done here. How many scripts do you see in the home directory uh, script folder? We see that we have four scripts. So that is the next question here. What are the five characters following C in paper's password hash? Okay, so we need to be able to go and uh, use that script to read the password hash from HC Shadow. But after Derb is done, looks like we found, we also found four directories using the default scripts, just like that here. All right, so let's use this attack box as well to maybe do an SSH so we can do everything right here. SSH and the credentials are given up here. All right, so we're in. And if we cd to the directory that we're told, home Grinch scripts, it's the Grinch. Okay. So here is the four scripts that we saw last time. And ls minus la shows us that we can only modify this script here, the loot.sh. So vi loot.sh. So the right now it's looking at home, the Grinch loot, and it's putting it to ls html so what's in home the grinch loot okay so here is everything that is is, is, is putting out there so the, here's the contents and these are owned by root as well so we cannot read them all right so let's go back and change the script to, to give us the contents of etsy shadow So instead of ls, we're going to cat All right, so after changing that code and going to slash admin, you see we are actually reading Etsy shadow. So let's view page source to see this better and then click on the ls.html that should actually give us a better looking page. So it says, what, what, what are the five characters following paper's password? So after G, we have ZUP42Y. So that's the correct one. What is the correct frag.txt on the Grinch's user desktop? Okay, I'm just going to use the same code. Okay, so I'm just going to vi loot. So instead of reading Etsy Shadow, I would like to read slash home slash the Grinch slash flag dot text. So let's modify my script. I, I was I changed it in the wrong place. Grinch. It's on the desktop, not in the home. 
directory. So like that, escape, save that. So now if we go to our browser, we should be able to see. So if we switch to our tab now, let's see what we can find here. Refresh. Maybe it, it, it runs every minute. So let's see if it something shows up here. All right, so after waiting less than a minute, you see that we do get the, the contents of the flag. So this is the contents of that flag. So let's, let me see if I can. All right, so we can copy this now. All right, so that was day 14 of Advent of the Cyber. If you like this, please remember to like and subscribe. Today we learned a lot about CICD and if you have incorrect permissions, people can really abuse your continuous integration and develop deployment options and on your systems. So if you like this, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.